as a pool and he's losing his straps. See that strap hanging down? The guy in the back should pull him over. He's got a trail car. We got a step deck pulling like two giant fiberglass pools and there's the straps just flying like 30 feet behind it. I guess you don't care. Whatever. What's going on? I said, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Little chicken feet of burrito from Love's. Pretty good. Do you still have, I think we're on better service for at least like half an hour. We'll talk some more and Hopefully. hang out with you guys. Yes. Wait until we get some people in here. We don't have anybody in here. Oh, we got three now. We're going up. All we're going right. up on a Tuesday. I, for, I forgot about that song. Going up. Wasn't, on it, wasn't it Tuesday? Did anybody figure out what a house hippo was? I found out what a house hippo was. You still don't know what a house hippo was. It's like a thing. It's basically what they say. They say it's like a thing. Come it's on, like a thing. Did you turn my Bluetooth off? Yeah. I want one. Well, you better start looking for a hippo. I'm going to find a house hippo. I'm going to find one of the kids' We have a P.O. box to never pay for. Anybody want to mail us a hippo? Ooh, that'd be fun. Our PO box we do pay for that we never, that Katie never plugs into our. I never plug it and I also <laughs> never check it. We're heading up to New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. And if you want another PO box, it is PO box 808 7262. Carolina, 2968. I'm just saying, you can find a headphone. Can you hear Chuck and wife? Because I can barely hear. Can you hear us? Can you guys hear me? Hip is a house hippo, Katie. Good on one. House hippo, trucking wife. Yes, so we're good. She's good. We're good. She good. Went through some big rain going through Fancy Gap and then it stopped. It was really pretty. Oh, it felt so bad though. There were some. Oh, she did pull over. Yeah, pulled over. Yeah. Well, I don't think they can see it. This guy right here had like a huge strap just flying off the back of the truck. Get that strap, man. Got some toes, some show cards. Yeah. Hey, uh. Trucker wife needs her own truck. What's this guy doing? I will have a truck soon. Is he on a bike or is that like a motorized bike? I got all kinds of stuff up here on Seven Nine. I can't get over because I got well, a freaking a bike bike. Got like a, a Mazda a bicycle. Next to got a Mazda. It's like a motor on or something. No, he's a, he's oh, on no, a bike. He's riding bicycle. his bike. There you go, buddy. Doing his thing on a chicken wing. Hey, hey, cactus flower, easy cactus flower. Welcome back. Is anybody else in New Jersey? Jersey. Jersey, right off. We're gonna be like, Jersey. we're gonna be right off 95, like a couple blocks, three, four blocks off 95. Yeah. At a new Aldi. That's used to be a gas station, as the satellite image says it is. It now it's an Aldi. You got a bunch to say to me. You talk about your new show you're starting? Your house hit folks? Our new show. Oh, that's different. Um, so I'm on this uh, Netflix kick for this show called Cursed. I can watch like one episode a night because they're about an hour long. But I don't watch TV during the day. I just watch it right before I go to bed. And there's a show called Cursed that's pretty good. Cursed. Rogan moving to Texas. He's moving to Texas. He just played the video. I didn't listen all the time. It was I, just, I started listening when he started talking about video games and how it's always yeah, He's moving somewhere in Texas. I think he's moving by Dallas, but he, he won't say. 
He's bringing Jamie with him. You got a lot of attention now. I see you wish nothing but success, driver. Aw, thank thanks, you. Torrance the Trucker. I appreciate thank that. Thank you, Torrance. Nothing but the best for you too, man. Just trying to make... YouTube makes our life more fun, too. Like, we already had a good good amount of fun, but now it's like, what can we do next for YouTube? It's also really cool because we get to kind of... Interact? Doc well, that. We get to document everything that we... Not everything that we do, but we do get to document quite a bit of the things that we do, which means when we get older, we can go back and look at it. Our kids can go back and look at it. Um, well, they can see their own growing up. Yeah, and see themselves. And we also have another channel we kind of like when we do family vacation or stuff. We put yeah, it's like a family channel that family. we... We have it there. for my grandmother to watch the kids, and she lives up in Virginia, and my dad watches it so we, you know, see the vacations that we go on. I got my authority last November and have been enjoying these rains. Yeah. It's awesome. Pretty good so far. It was a little rough at the beginning of 2019, but they're they're high right now. Yeah. If you're going into a COVID hot zone, they're, they're pretty dang high, like uh, going down into Florida, going up into New Jersey like, like we're doing. I like call it hazard pay. Places. That's for show. Sure. Yeah. I had something I was going to talk about, but I don't remember. Well, then we're not going to watch you. We're going to watch uh, the road. The road. Yeah. Because we're riding roads. Riding roads up on 81. He's based out of North Carolina. He goes to Northeast. He hates Florida. Mm. I don't mind Florida, man. It's always flat land for miles per gallon. That's true. I like yeah. that for miles per gallon. Then you take light loads too, which is kind of... Yeah. Most of the time. Most of the time. The well, that, man, they don't manufacture any paper towels or they don't paper products, so all their paper has to be imported from up here. I love cows. Lots of cows. You can't see the cows, but I can. And I love cows. I think they're cute. And unfortunately, quite tasty. They are good. I mean, it makes me feel bad because they're so cute, but I do like to eat them as well. Red roads. Yeah, he also says uh, a lot of damn dead heading out for one a mile out. But if you can get a good break. I get up to Savannah and I got some good stuff coming out of there. Yeah. Uh, South Georgia. I mean, I won't touch the stuff coming out of Florida because it's one dollar a mile, a dollar twenty a mile, and uh, it's most of the time it's all heavy. Just dead head out. It only costs like fifty bucks in fuel to get up to Savannah. Dwayne says, Justin, love what you do, bro. Very humble and helpful. Don't stop what you're doing. And please keep this channel going. Well, he didn't say please keep this channel going. I added the please. But he says keep the channel going. Oh. We're, tr we're trying to, we're going to keep this channel going. I mean, when we get old and uninteresting and nothing else to say, we're just going to sit on our rocking chairs, but keep it going as long as we can. Technology the way. You want to sit in rocking chairs with me and drink lemonade? Yeah, hopefully on a beach somewhere. The way technology is, though, it's so easy. Like, you don't need a big production crew following you around or editing people. You can just use your dang phone. William Malcolm says, I have two girls that live in Savannah. Beautiful down there. I love Savannah. I'm the lady a, that processed our loan, uh, she lives 30 minutes from Savannah. Oh, does she? Yeah. I thought they were here in Greenville. Uh, she was based out of Greenville, but she moved to Savannah when you know, she's working from home. Oh, oh that's cool. They do everything. She just moved to Savannah in, I think she's 20 February or March. Uh, right before COVID actually hit. I see, I see. Yeah. What are your goals? Do you plan to grow a one-man show? We've actually been talking about this a lot lately. Yeah, one-man show. Um, as I upgrade my semi truck to a, a bigger sleeper, I want to put somebody in it that'll uh, be able to. I'll be able to apprentice them and give them the truck after three years. That's my plan. I don't know the schematics of it because I need to get with a lawyer and get some docs written up for everything to be fair for both sides in case anything does happen. To, God foreseen, unhappen, uh, bad happens, then uh, we gotta take care of both sides. Yeah. But so yeah. We're gonna, we definitely are looking into it. But that'll come when this truck's paid off. Yeah, so uh, we're not gonna take any steps until that. 
run roads. Anybody else have any questions? Babies are going to sleep. Yep, I just got a, um, a text message from my mommy. She said that the baby's been down for about 30 minutes. The two boys are bathed and brushed and they've had their dinner. They're watching a movie with Gigi right now. Now the bed. Twain says, and I love it. I binge watch your videos, bro. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> thanks awesome, thanks for watching, man. We try to put out interesting stuff. That's it. Yeah, I'm trying to make it informative and fun. Yeah. Like if something happens at my house that I think someone else will have the same issue and they gotta fix it, then I'm gonna uh, express my experiences. If something breaks on her Escalade, which it seems to be doing a lot lately, then I'm gonna show you my experience and hopefully help somebody else out. Easy Cactus Flower says, I'm a mod on several trucking channels. If you need help, I'm around most days. A retired driver for me. So we'll have to look into that. We can't make moderators right now um, while we're- Gotta do it from the computer, yeah, do it from right? the desktop. Lab, like the desktop, so I'll have to go in and Yeah, that'd be very helpful though because we can't always look through everything. Yeah. A lot of times, like these people put these, like come to girls, girls, girls place. Like, yeah, like, it's like, so what is weird. that? Like, what are you doing? That? Come to this XXX. I'm like, all right, well, Let's whatever. Not have that on there. Whatever. Riding rules. Is football gonna start? They just started baseball back. Yeah, but like the Marlins had to cancel their opener because they got like 12 people on their team with COVID. What? Yeah. Is it the Miami Marlins now? Or the, it's not the Florida Marlins. I think it's the Miami Marlins. But they were playing the, I think the Orioles. Did you, did you see the, the way they have the crowd set up? Yeah, with like the little cut, cutouts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they do that. Does it make the players feel better? Or? I guess and they have like sound coming out of them. Well, good. Yeah. That guy is hauling that uh, Montana fifth wheel. We're going 67. He's, he's rocking and rolling. I want to see the kids camping. Well, I'm going to rent. I'll buy a boat, but I will not buy an RV. It's just. No, I would never buy an RV. You got to be camping a lot to make that worthwhile. Yeah. Better like living it. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, just use it. Use it a good amount twice a month in the, in the season. Yeah, we'll just rent one. Uh, but I really do want. I'm going to take the kids camping. Yeah. Well, look how much up here we can do. So many places to camp up in Tennessee, North Carolina. Dude, you told us where you got your tires. Where do you get your body wax? <laughs> body wax and I. Body wax, what? Where do you get your body wax and I? Because you're all hairless and your eyebrows look great. I clean up his eyebrows. Yeah, she cleans up my eyebrows. I do. I got to keep my man looking fresh. Oh, uh, fresh to death. So at home? At home. I do all the work. My uh, cosmetologist wife takes care of me most times. Run, run. Do you think, do you think uh, Gronkowski from Kraut? Gronkowski. Gronk, whatever. The Gronk. Will be a three down, three down in for Tampa Bay. Hashtag Rainbow Represent. I think they're gonna, they got like the three other tight ends. Two, three, three great tight ends, so I think they're gonna intertwine them all, but down a distance, he's going to definitely be in there. So, yeah, I don't think it'll be a three down. He'll be a two down. Mix it up, put him in, try to keep the defense off balance. So, this one says, how much money do you think you make off of fuel surcharges per gallon since you get eight miles per gallon? We don't get really fuel surcharges on our operator. Uh, it's just a flat rate. Um, but I do, I mean, if I just did it off my fuel, like how much it cost me to go all the way down to Daytona from Anderson and back to, we've just topped off the tanks because it's so cheap in South Carolina. Um, it only cost me just a little over $200. So a hundred dollars to Daytona and all the way back. So I'm dead with each way. So that's kind of, I'm just getting great got gas mileage plus the load was light and then coming back, I was averaging like 12 miles per gallon because I was empty. What year is the ball? The ball was a 2013. always entertaining you know we're just like opening up a channel for people to be like hey you're driving somewhere I used to drive or I know or maybe you're Christiansburg. Driving I lived in Christiansburg for like two years did you yeah 
Well, geez. We actually drive past my old house. Can we drive on this road? Yeah, you told me that one time. Uh-huh. Huh? I can see it. I, my mom used to point it out whenever we drove back from... You lived off the freeway, huh? We did. Uh -oh. It's really far off the freeway. The other side of the freeway is getting backed up. Poor guys. Oh, if you're heading to 81, 81 southbound right now, guys, that mile marker, what's this? 106 is backing up, so watch out. I don't know what happened. Your GPS will probably tell you about that, but it's dead stop right now. Oh, you can see it over there. Yeah. Have you ever had any DPF, DEF, EGR issues? There's a lot of numbers and letters I don't understand. Yes, all of the above. When we first bought the truck, it had the EGR leaking in top of the, the front of the filter of the DEF. Uh, I've had a couple sensors go wrong on the DPF filter, replace the filter. It's like $1,000. It was like $1,100 for that filter. So yeah, you're always gonna have problems with that system, especially the 2007 to 2012 range. The uh, DEF, DPF systems were not as, uh, they were new, so they're just working out the kinks in them. They, were, they made better sensors now though, and uh, kind of learning everything about it, making the D DPF and the DEF fluid better, so. It's getting better, but it is a nuisance. It for sure is. <laughs> the floorboard on the passenger side will get hot as hell when, you, when that thing's running at an idle, man. Big up yourself, Trevor. Very interesting and informative and work. One thing I hated when I was watching it in CDL school, nobody showed uh, um, the, the paperwork. Sam uh, makes sense did a couple times. He would definitely show you his loads. He had, he had like a 10,000. Well, just. Uh, oh, there we go. <coughs> know Sorry your, about that. I don't know if we'll stay good, but it looks like it's back to normal. Um, like that little, little hill. Mr. Xavier88 says this channel has made me want to go owner operator. That's awesome. Yeah. Look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love mountains. What's up, truck and couple? Can't wait to see the new truck and all the mods. How's your miles? I was telling, uh. <laughs> How's your miles per gallon laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Just went up fancy gap. Miles per gallon, pretty good. Check it in. Um, it really pulled 16,000 in the box, and it's still average 9.4, but it's averaged over 22, whatever. I'm not talking about that. Um, the truck, man, I still feel like it's not real. I'm not going to feel like it's real until truck and wife is driving away in it. And, of course, i got to check everything out on it. Um, my old truck, I had to do the transmission twice. I shredded the input shaft one time. Transmission is definitely the weak point with the, tor with the Torquey uh, Cummins inline six. So, But they made it better as the years went on, but it's still 2011, so they still weren't perfect. So have a, a question that we get quite often that I like. Did you work for a major company or did you just go get your truck in authority? I went straight to CDL school after I Uber drove somebody in a minivan when I was Uber driving around Greenville. Started uh, CDL school, drove for a guy I met in CDL school's dad who owned a hardwood flooring company and they, we moved flatbed flooring for them. While we looked for a truck. While, while I looked for a truck, set up my authority. Yeah, so about a month after school I uh, got really into the authority and then we went live August 8th. Yeah, so I went straight from uh, school to get my own authority and truck, and uh, it's been over two years now on August 8th. I've said this before, and I will say it again. Justin is not your average Joe. He is, he will put his mind to something, and he will do it. I'm telling you, once he gets his brain saying, I want to do this, he's going to do it. But if it's he also, can't do it, he'll find a way to do it. But it's also having the information. YouTube and, and Sammy from Make Sense really gave me that motivation. Like, I hope I'm giving some of you guys the motivation to do it. Um, to show you how it it's, can be done out here. It's overwhelming. You think you have to have so many things filed, which you do. But once you understand what they all are, it's Maybe just like... Katniss Flowers says, but he makes it look easy. Yeah, it's not. it took me two years to get to this point of negotiations. And, and we've hit, you know, I mean, it's not... And it's been bad, yeah. Been, yeah, it's not... It's been 400 bucks to Atlanta, I'm like you know, scraping. Hydro locking, scared, scared to death that. Rebuild my engine. The drive shaft, was it a drive shaft? Drive shaft. The drive shaft. The drive shaft. shaft. Drive broke. Yeah. We've, had, we've had some roadblocks, but we, you know, we, we put our, I mean, we put our faith in God and we, we, it all works itself out. Yeah, being mechanically inclined and having that kind of back against the wall and having to figure it out it has helped me a lot too. I'll just figure it out if I have to. Do you think you're getting, well, I mean, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but do you think you're getting three miles per gallon because of COVID or were people getting it before the pandemic? Um, I think the second wind of the pandemic with the uh, economy kind of opening back up and businesses realizing they can't stay shut forever, they started pushing all the stuff they were backlogged. 
And then I think a lot of companies and truck drivers uh, just don't want to go to those areas. Like Florida's a hot spot, so they don't want to. Maybe truck drivers are like don't send me to Florida that work for a company. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like the places where the COVID is really upticking in for a second wave is where the three, four dollar mile uh, runs are at. Yeah, they don't want to. I understand it, but I'll take four dollars mile, put my mask on, and uh, wash my hands. He also kind of I uh, wanted clarification on. Uh, so he, he said he owned the Freightliner he called Woodwind. No, so the guy that Justin went to CDL school with, his father owned a company that- They had their own trucks. They had their own trucks. Yeah. His so father's company had it. They had so an Justin old 9400 International with a Cummins ISX in it. Or no, it wasn't ISX, I think it was an A70. And uh, I drove that truck in it because it was the only truck they had in their fleet that was an older truck that was a manual because I wanted to continue to practice my manual driving. So it worked out for me that I was allowed to run that truck. And they had newer Freightliners um, that I ran a couple times that they wanted this long, uh, long run to Houston and back. So it worked out perfect because I was able to practice my manual skills, manual transmission, and uh, it was a flatbed too. So I did some curtain side and I did some flatbed. It was awesome. This is actually a really good question as well. How difficult was it to get your authority having little trucking experience? I've been uh, told insurance is a hard thing. Yeah, getting your authority and it's like easy. getting set up like, with a DOT, DOT numbers, number, easy. the MC number is easy. You literally just sign up. Basically. Finding the right truck with an APU and a, and a good motor and trans, and then uh, setting up your insurance is is the it, setting up your insurance isn't hard, but it's a, it's a big bite bullet to bite when you're charging eighteen thousand six hundred dollars for a year. I've been told you got to run under someone else's authority for a while to create a paper trail. I've been doing it for five years. It doesn't matter if you run for them for a while. I mean, it does matter. You're going to get your experience and, and all that, but you maybe have experience. and learn how they do the business on the owner operator side. But um, as far as starting your own authority, your insurance, which is your biggest expense besides your truck payment, is um, it starts from zero. So it doesn't matter how many years you've been driving. It starts as if you were a 16 year old driver, and after two years, you get just a significant break, which I just got my my big significant break in my insurance. When says. I wasted two years driving for a company, bought a truck last year, fixed it, started my own authority in March. Congratulations, Congrats, man. Congrats, man. That's awesome. That's a good success story right there. Why don't you continue to drive a manual? I do. I like the manual. I like the manual. I like the manual. A lot easier. Uh, when this thing does go or if anything bad happens to it, uh, it's only going to cost maybe 2500 to 3500 for me to get a, a new rebuilt one in there. Uh, compared to an automatic, which would be definitely over five grand or more, even up to the ten grand. So thanks for the feedback. No so problem. Welcome the kid. No problem. His name's the kid. I like the kid. Billy the kid. That's what I think about too. Okay, Justin, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So like right now, in a gradual grade, I'm running 64 miles an hour, and we're at 11.8 miles per gallon, give or take, down to 10. But uh, once you start climbing, it goes up. But these these plastic trucks, if you keep your, I don't use cruise control. I'm always using my foot, and I'm always repositioning it. But uh, cruise control will take your miles per gallon miles per gallon down drastically because it pushes the engine up the hills a lot harder than you would yourself. So foot foot coach is like different things that will teach you how to keep your foot where it needs to be to kind of the best miles per gallon. So when it's your truck, it comes out of your pocket. All right, Christianburg, where's your house? Right there? Uh, Blacksburg. You did live right here, though, right? Christianburg, yeah. You gotta ask your mom. I know where it's at. Well, where is it? That's not it. There were some houses back then. Oh, that might have been it. That might have been it. Or it's like, yeah, I was like, I'm saying, there's five houses right there on the ground. It was kind of like a little neighborhood. Yeah, there's little, like, brick houses. Were they brick? That's the miles per gallon for my Mustang. It's the miles per gallon for my Mustang when I'm getting crazy with it. What state are you in? We are in Virginia. Virginia's for numbers. 81, Virginia. Quinn says you are definitely, you are correct on the foot pedal. It's the way to go. Yeah. Can you start your own MC and get a DOT number and not use it to yeah, there's be a, able to view loads on the load board? Or is there another way to get in to see what kind of loads are out there? You cannot view loads until you're uh, active. Like your insurance and everything's active. Like right now, I'm not active with Uber Freight because for some reason, I haven't called them because I really don't care. They don't have anything good on the boards right now. They, they've been kind of slack at Uber Freight has. But um, all my other 
uh, carriers or brokers are, are active with my insurance switching over. I send Uber Freight the exact same certificate that I sent to CH, took TQL, Coyote, or Coyote, and they all accepted it and said, you're all good to go. And there's this thing called the RMIS. It's like a database of insurance, like letting it know it's active. And they're even updated, and Uber Freight still tells me that I don't have the right um, numbers on my, I'm like, what are you talking about, Uber Freight? Like, and I've emailed them a couple of times, I'm just like, it's not worth it. But I will get back on with them for eventually when I start running and the market comes back, but right now I don't care. Good old Uber Freight. Never can I really talk to a person that's always emailed, just like a uh, convoy. Bam, 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 bam. You can sign up. Uh, Cactus Flower says you can sign up with one, two, three load board without a DOT number. Oh, yeah, I'm you not can. Not sure how long, 30 days. Yeah, well, they that have some. That would be good. And they let you watch, look at three loads a day um, free. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I've only booked one load off them, but I've seen other loads available um, on the other brokers that I use, like TQL, Coyote, that are on yeah. one, two, three. Yeah. Riding roads. Bum, bum, bum. Some cool little log houses over there. Log houses. I'm not paying attention. I'm sitting back in the sleeper. I can't really see. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty. A little bit of clouds above the horizon. It's like a steam. Or what is it called? I guess it's. Fog. It's like a steam, Truckin' Wife says. Well, I say that because it's caused like by steam. the rain. It is real pretty up here, though. Thank right. God that Hitchhiker put her pants back on. I know, right? Shush. I like to be comfortable. I don't know if you guys can see that little rainbow right there on the right. Right above that green sign, you see a oh, rainbow. Oh, I see it. Yeah. How beautiful. Probably going to lose you guys in a little bit. If we start buffering real bad, we'll cut it off. Because we're about to go down. Question, where are you going? Miles and how much? Uh, it's on a, the previous video. If you want to see my crazy kids and me work on a, a Escalade LS-based motor, which is an LQ9, for somebody who commented, when does the Escalade MLS, MLS platform? Um, we are going to uh, New Jersey, but not onto the like the island side of it, not the uh, inside of it, just the off 95 to a new Aldi. Thanks for the green looking ride. Yeah, welcome to see some green up here. Way different than Arizona where we came from. Well, her, it's funny because it's AC Cactus Bar. Oh, yeah. I love so. that. Yeah, Arizona. Where's she at, though? Is she in Tucson, Phoenix? I don't know. Where are you at, AC Cactus Bar? Flagstaff. You guys are awesome, and I love everything you stand for. We're going to be a big help when I buy my own truck in two years. Good luck with that. Save Good up. Luck. Save Get up. Done. Get out of here. Stop making the company's money. Make your own money. Nowadays, I haul heavy equipment for a construction company. Kenworth 18 speed, home every night. That's uh, a good time and a half over 40 hours, work 50 hour minimum a week. A bit of a change from rain on the road. How old are you now, the kid? That's a good thing. You're not a kid anymore. <laughs> That's a good thing, though, man, being home and driving that 18 speed. I wish I had 18 speeds. I got eight less. <laughs> and it's hard going up the hills sometimes, but hey, it gets it done. After COVID 19 settles down, what do you think? Average rates will settle down to since the industry refuses to unionize and foreigners are coming over and undercutting tax and paying citizens. I think the early beginning of 2019, 2019 took out a lot of carriers. Um, I'm not, I don't know the numbers on it. I'm, don't quote me on it, but um, seems like there's a lot less carriers out here. I don't know though, but uh, I think if it's if it hovers around 250 a mile, $3 a mile down to Florida, I'll be fine with that. I mean, I'm taking in as much as I can right now because it's there. But I do believe platforms like this, YouTube, or I was thinking if even, I'm not a big app guy or website guy, but if everybody actually uploaded their Raycons to some kind of platform to get an actual, because we you, these other places like Freight Waves or these or DAT low board, when they say they have the 15 day average, where's that information coming from? Like these brokers have no, no need to actually submit that paperwork and let the 15 average or they can skew it just like the media can skew whatever they want you to see whatever way they want it like there's no um, backlash there's no accountability so Matt Peterson says you guys talk about the same stuff all the time you need new stuff hey ha give us some like things you want to hear give us some feedback uh, we um, were talking about a house hippo I don't think we're talking about the same things every time 
Well, that's what he's House saying. Hippo. But you also have to understand that not always the same people are watching too. So we always have new people coming in, I'm sure. But if you have something that you want to talk about, let us know. It says the camera's shaking bad. Well, we'll go back to Truck and Wife. Hi. That's probably less shaking. Riding roads. Yeah, we're going uh, a little downhill, so we're hitting about 70 miles an hour, so it's shaking. Okay, this water's from the southeast, southeast of Phoenix. Okay. Like Tolson, Goodyear, where they go skydiving. Those carriers went under and were rammed by investment groups. Yeah, I just can see that. A Celadon is kind of like that. Celadon and that's is a where big Josh. If Joseph, Joseph lives in South, I think he lives in New Jersey. Yeah, but I think there is a problem. Like, if everybody sh actually showed their real data of what they were getting rates per mile, I and mean, we could bring it up. I don't know what this means, but how much are you charging yourself to haul your pickup back home? I'm charging myself uh, whatever it costs her in fuel and her food in whatever hotel she stops at. Or she might stop with her uncle. Oh, that's funny. He made it himself. I love your girl on your truck. Where did you get it from? He made it himself. Yeah, I used to, if you go to Instagram, I, I changed my name on Instagram to Just Trucking. And if you look at the old posts on that Instagram, um, it's what I used to do before I um, started trucking. Fabricate. Sorry, do you use a broker? Yeah, I mean, CH Robinson, Coyote, there's brokers behind these apps. I use an app and the app ties me in with a broker that owns the load. Like these brokers are have multiple loads every week of different customers they work with and uh, other brokers can kind of jump in on their loads too if you work with a different broker like I do at C.H. Robinson then they get a share of the total um, percentage of the load so but like the apps like Convoy and Uber Freight um, JB360 there's no broker involved it's just the app but there's a brokerage that the app works through the kid says gotta go grab some dinner I got you on the flip side and hey, I'm gonna nice. pop back in Nice okay. talking with you, kid. Have good with some grub. Um, so you have a set up CNC machine. Have you set up CNC machines in the past? We actually have one. In I have garage. a five by eight plat uh, footprint CNC plasma table with a therm uh, hypertherm plasma cutter and torch made software that I do all my own CAD drawing on. Uh, one of them really work waiting on now, which I will be getting in high gear pretty soon. Uh, I bid on a uh, compressor on eBay. It's actually just two of them right here in Greenville. One's in Greer, one's in Greenville. And they're like $2,000 compressors brand new. I'm trying to get one for about 500, but he wants 900. So it's a waiting game, just like brokerages. Hopefully when it doesn't sell, or if it doesn't sell, I, I hope he does get full price, whatever he wants for it. But if I can get a nice compressor for 500, then I'll take that. Like we a nice- We got a couple of love y'all. Well, we got uh, love y'all and watching your videos, but then someone says, well, how long is it gonna be till you start making girls again? Well, this this truck, if it does come home, God willing, uh, it will, it will need a new grill because I'm definitely changing that grill on that thing. It's a Royalty Core grill. I'll make one for Allison. Ro <laughs> Royalty Core is a nice company out of uh, I think they're Washington or Oregon, up in the Northwest. Make really good products, but uh, the, like horns, the ram horns, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. So I'll get rid of that grill. But that grill was probably fifteen hundred bucks. I'll probably. Katie might sell it, or sell it maybe I'll give maybe I'll give that one to Andrew, the kid, the trouble kid down there. And but Allison, I got to make her her own. But I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm either going to do a single 40 inch LED right across the middle of the grill, and I want like the Night Rider red light to go back and forth when it's chilling at home or chilling at the parking lot. I like that little slow Night Rider. I got a wow! Is that Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. Here, we're probably going to lose service because we're going down the hill right now. And I just drop my phone. But that's very sweet. Um, do you factor your loads? No. All these broker apps have like built-in factoring. About 3% to 2.5 depending. And then some of them don't charge you a percentage if you like use the tracking through the whole load. Like JB Hunt or uh, they'll give you the full amount. <laughs> this is actually not your trailer. You were lightly used where you were originally a SoCal Cholo. <laughs> SoCal Cholo, man. <laughs> Saw your old car videos and they were, I don't know how to say this, O'Reilly. 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 I'm assuming it's like a. No, I grew in Phoenix, Arizona was heavy affliction, like uh, tattoos and motorcycles and cool, but uh, I grew up in Southern California. Yeah, I grew yeah, up. Yeah, he did grow up in Southern California. I grew up with uh, Tupac and, and Biggie Feud. 
and uh, yeah, and then I went to Northern California with like Bone Thugs and Harmony and Master P. Well, Master P wasn't from there, but uh, your grill reminds me of the one uh, from Diesel Brothers. Which one? That's somebody said that your grill reminds me of the one from Diesel uh, Brothers. All those, you made a couple of all those grills on Diesel Brothers, like Mega Ram Runner and uh, the Muscles. I made all those. Um, I have actually their phone numbers. I can call the Muscle and Heavy D or text them and say what's going on. But I haven't been in contact with them for uh, the truck we're buying right now is. We kind of got this deal set up because I know these SEMA people, people from SEMA. I knew this truck. This truck was a, uh, on the cover of. He, he, he spelled it out for not someone else's. Cover of the magazine. Oh, Raleigh. Oh, Raleigh. Like Oh, really? Oh, Raleigh. Yeah, this truck was a, a truck and magazine cover in 2000. I think I went 2016. I don't know what year it was. But it was the cover of Truck. Uh -huh. My truck, my personal old truck, was on the cover of Diesel, uh, Diesel World. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little thing to have. David says, love the channel. You guys are such down-to-earth family and show the world that anything is possible. Keep up the hard work. You inspire me to get out, to get my own business up and running. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Thanks for That's watching awesome. us. I mean, this channel right here gives us even more freedom than trucking did. Trucking gave us pretty good freedom. It got us pretty much in a great situation um, financially. And then this YouTube channel just blew that up even more. Uh, just to go financial on you a little bit, this truck's going to be just under 500 bucks a month, insurance and everything included, with our loan that we got because someone's credit score is, uh, is pretty dang good. So that's a good deal. Um, we used the truck we owned outright, and we got $4,500 cash for that, sold it in one hour, which is awesome. Uh, use that plus some of the, uh, the other half of the YouTube money. We're going to do a down payment of about, well, it is. Ten thousand dollars, and then we had finance. We live once. We're not. We're saving a little for the future, but you never know when the future might end. So, live for today. I got three little boys who are extremely infatuated with race cars and big trucks and everything else. So why not have a fun truck uh, if we're going to have any truck at all? And for that price range, it's almost the price of a regular stock one. So maybe about five thousand dollars more. Cool. Overdrive is a cool magazine too. Yeah, 2014 Diesel World May issue was my old truck. Adventures of Sharon say thank you. We're really close to Roanoke. You'd think we'd have some service. What's your bars at? Two, three now. Three now? We're back. Go yeah, we're only, we're only like 15 miles from Roanoke. We should have good service. Only recently that, came across your channel. Love it. Good luck. Uh, hardest hit I took playing football was uh, there's a little CHP in the middle of the road. And I love how they're always on the big downhill. It's crazy. It's, it's, they know you're going to speed. They know it will just kind of hit your brakes a little bit. But oh, just State down. Patrol. Yeah. See if he's going to pop out. No, he's chilling. But um, Hardest hit, yeah, I broke the plane in Cal, uh, Cal game. It was my second touchdown of the game. And, Kind of caught the ball in the flat, rolling out, and I looked and I saw the two defenders, and then another guy hit me as I was going into the end zone. So that was that was a pretty hard hit, but I scored a touchdown. So. And then I went up against Trell Suggs. Oh, it, it was always a competition, in the, in the in-state competition, Arizona State versus U of A. And it was always the last game of the season uh, before bowl games, and uh, it was like Thanksgiving weekend. And Terrell Suggs was, he's a big, I don't know if you guys probably know he was Baltimore Ravens. Defensive end. I think he still was playing up until last year. He might even play this year. But uh, he was beast, and I was having to block him every run play and get out past him. He was a, he was definitely a handful. But uh, I gave him a little run, stayed in front of him, tried to block him as best I could. But he was a big beast, big man, athletic as heck. Getting ready to make the jump into trucking. What's one of the most important piece of advice for me to know going into the industry? I have a CDL with no experience. Start prior to four walls with an S. Start watching Easy Rider and any suggested video with Easy Rider. Learn all the components of these trucks. Learn the air system, learn the brakes, how they work. Your batteries, the, the diesel, the engine, the DPF, everything. Learn that because it'll save you so much money by being able to fix your own stuff that breaks randomly on the road instead of getting the hook, as they call it, to come tow you for $2,000. Breakdowns are gonna breakdowns are gonna do one thing. Yeah, my drive shaft, I 
now that I've done this, it was my first year trucking, and uh, I noticed a big vibration starting in the drive chain, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if my engine was running bad or what. This is before my end frame. And I took a heavy load from Charlotte back to Atlanta, and then I took another heavy load from Atlanta, and I don't know where I was going. Somewhere short again, back to Charlotte or somewhere South Carolina. And just getting out of Atlanta, started vibrating real bad, and I was like, okay, something's wrong. And by the time I said something's really wrong, Boom, I, I lost all my, uh, the engine would freely rev. I'm like, okay, and I could hear it scraping. So I got over within probably 300, 500 feet. And luckily the, tra and the drive shaft was going forward. Luckily it didn't hit hard and it was just skipping. And I pulled off the side of the road, went under there, looked, I was like, great, my drive shaft just fell down. And I knew this already about drive shafts because I've had lifted trucks and I've dropped a drive shaft in a big giant lifted truck you. before. And she, helped me. she helped Clifford. me, you helped me fix the transmission in Clifford. Oh, the transmission. I held up the transmission on a makeshift wood plank jack for a transmission while, while she was hand threading the bolts on the top to get it to stick <laughs> with a torque converter. So, um, but anyways, we fixed that. If, if that would have been something, you would have been out for a week or maybe two or three days, depending on getting a driveline shop. But I just went straight to my phone, looked for a driveline shop, found one that was pretty close. It was like 14 miles away, called an Uber. XL and took my whole drive shaft down on the side of the road, which you can do yourself. Have tools in your truck. Put that drive shaft in the back of the Uber. Took and it to the drive shaft shop. There's a video, there's a video of it. Video. Um, if you look back far enough. And then uh, she came and met me. Put the drive shaft in the back of the Tundra. Had lunch with her. Went back there, put it up together. She went and got my cones. Delivered the load. I was only like two hours late and went back home for the night. So yeah. just know the mechanics of these trucks. They seem like there's so much to them. But it's a plastic shell with a bunch of airlines and a big diesel motor that's inline six cylinders. I just for the record, Kizzy and Chicken Kizzy. George. Chicken Gizzards. It's Kizzy and Chicken George. Kick, ch I'm glad chicken you George. had answered the question while he was talking, but uh, tight end. <laughs> I played tight end, yeah. Yeah. Tight. I don't know if you said that, but I know she was like, you did play, you played football, yeah. Uh, yeah tight end. Tight end. But you kind of mentioned Arizona. Football. I mean, I'm I'm not a, a small. Duct tape fixes everything. Duct tape <laughs> zip ties, baby. You are my favorite trucking channel. Thank you. Thank you. We try to be. We try to. We're gonna bring more of our family. Not more, but anything that goes on in our life. We're just kind of. If it's interesting, we're gonna bring it to the channel. And uh, Johnny said thanks for the advice. You're welcome, man. Uh, if you're ever in Frankfurt, yeah, Indiana. Indiana. Uh, stop by my store, Kingbird Fireworks, largest wholesale in the Midwest. Hey, Kingbird Fireworks. Shout out to them. Plug them. Firework time, Fourth of Just. Kingbird fireworks. Fourth just ended, but New Year's will be Frankfurt, coming. Indiana. Frankfurt, Indiana. I wonder if that's near Sam. Sam's in. Uh, that's in Michigan, but South Michigan. But isn't that, oh, she's near Illinois. Well, yeah, but Indiana. Yeah, they're Indiana. all right there next to each other. Yeah. I know my states. I could do them all in a whole. I know my states. We want to take a South Dakota run and go see Mount Rushmore. Because you've been to Ohio. Yeah, we had a debate about that. At least not Washington State, right? <laughs> Riding what do you think the top five greatest tight ends in NFL history are? I love Todd Heap. Poor guy, man. He didn't know about Todd Heap's story and why he kind of doesn't get talked about anymore. He accidentally ran over his three-year-old daughter and killed her. Oh, that's so sad. He backed up his truck when she was playing and somehow caught got that. caught and killed that's her. So but sad. he was a great tight oh, end from like... uh, Arizona State. Played for Baltimore also. Great tight end. Sad. I can't imagine that. Like when so I've watched prayers for him and his family because that's got to go through his head every day. I love the babies. Yeah. But uh, top tight ends, of course, Gronkowski because he's just a beast, man. Six seven and has that much finesse. But I really liked Tony Gonzalez as I was coming up uh, from Cal because I was from the same area and he was doing great things in Atlanta. And uh, yeah, I mean, oh, there's been a lot of tight ends over the years. Is Chris Cooley a tight end? Chris Cooley? Yeah, he was for Washington. I don't, I think so, maybe. I know a lot of Redskins players. They're no dad, longer, no like, longer the Redskins, babe. Oh, I forgot about that. Some, what are they? Got some dark clouds over that organization. I know. Oh, yeah, with that whole sex thing. Sex scandal. Kind of crazy. Watch out, Washington. I gotta look into that, because my dad's, I'm from Virginia, so we're huge Redskins fans. But we're apparently not Redskins fans anymore. It's going to be called something else soon. I don't know. How far west do you run? I haven't really gone past Atlanta. It'll... Have you ever looked into moving household goods, good money, and paper? What the heck? 
DC football team. Is that confirmed, guys? There's DC on the helmet? Maybe. That makes me think of... What's the mask? DC makes me think of DC Comics, though. AT, DC. Maybe they could have... Remember that old movie where the, he had the flapping... He was a robot and he had, like, tracks for, for tires? What was his name? He was number five? Jerry Rice is the best. Number five is alive. Jerry. Confirmed. DC football team. No Whoa. way. DC football. Really? Short Circuit. Not Short Circuit. Was that the name of that I movie? I think of DC Comics, though. And DC? Washington football team just for a year till they pick a new name. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be a hard, uh, hard environment this year playing for them. I mean, Washington's fine with me. Washington. Well, it's like the Washington Nationals, their baseball team. Like, Washington. Why don't they just be the Washington Nationals football team? I don't think you can do that. But why, why don't you write them a letter and let them know? Ask for a cheerleader tryout. Because I can't cheer. <laughs> but your friend Malika is tumbling. It's Malika. Malika. You used to call her Michaela. Mm. I just make fun of her. She's funny. You, wait, you always call my friends. She's our Charleston friend. Different names. It's hilarious. Yeah, I like Cecilia. 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 Washington picks kids. <laughs> Washington picks kids. Actually, that's kind of funny. I kind of like that. Look at that license plate. Yeah, I don't know what got to the some. Uh, like how? Well, that's New York, so the paint's got to the back of that car. It's like a pretty new car, but the whole back is just oxidized. Snow and grime from the roads took out that car. Johnny Five is alive. That's it. What movie is that? Short Circuit. Yes, I love that movie. That's what I see, like, DC. Uh, they should have that guy as their, as their mascot. I don't know why that makes should sense. Should be renamed the Washington Senators or Half-Sets. <laughs> Senators. Congress. You a baseball fan? Not really, since uh, King Griffey Jr. left and Ozzie Smith. All the, all the greats. The Nolan Ryan area, era when he was throwing gas. And steroids got involved, and it was the Bash Brothers, and it was Sammy Sosa. And that was a great time to watch, but, I mean, those guys were juiced out of their mind. Just kind of lost its luster after that. Now they're making fun of my football team. Thanks, babe. What was your football team? The I'm not going to talk to you about it. <laughs> Short circuit. Johnny Five, I'm alive. Now they're love. laughing at Malika. It's Malika. Malika. Malik Malika, our Charleston friend. Bum, 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 bum. She's a dentist. She is a dental assistant. Dentist. She's dental. I couldn't deal with teeth on that. Oh, I hate teeth. Well, I can barely deal with my own teeth. Teeth are gross. At least I have teeth. Looks like they're expanding it up here. Actually, so I got this stuff called activated charcoal, and I used it this morning, and I looked like a demon. Activated charcoal. Yeah, like you, you put that black stuff on your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I've like seen a, little videos on that. I look like a demon. That's not cool. Riding roads. Def- oh, that guy's McGuire car is packed to the brim. Being on steroids. <laughs> He's fine with McGuire. He says I'm fine with McGuire being on steroids. And his forearms look like quads. Ed Brown, thank you for that. Thanks super for chat. that super chat. That buys our next uh, beef jerky. What else are we gonna get? Hey guys, hope all is well. Loving the live live streams lately. Yeah. We, we just like figured, to have fun. Well, we're I'm doing bored. a lot lately because someone's hitchhiking. That's why. Well, the reason we do them when I'm with him is because I can read comments. Because he can't read comments while he's driving, so it's easy for him to. We're riding roads. Why not ride the roads with you? Ride roads, and I get bored, so it's kind of fun. If anybody wonders where I got that riding roads from, if you watch, uh, what's his name? Dustin Lynch. Dustin Lynch's song "Riding Roads." Pretty good song. 30 early out there in the drive. Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. Who you got? Tyson, man. Tyson in his prime. Little pit bull. God, I can barely... I never beat him in that video game either. He always got me. I think I beat him once in my whole life. What part of hell? I mean, New Jersey. Just got here. Right off... Uh, I don't know what the name of the exact city is, but it's it's not it's not in <laughs> to, the, to the bad part. It's a suburban area. Suburbia. I'm going to say thank you. Uh, Tell her that. That's what telling me that. I just don't know. First of all, I don't know what I talk about. I don't know what my videos will be based on. Your kids every day. Well, what, you have I poopy diaper to. That would be, yeah, chase them around. I don't have time to video myself. Naked kids running around. in the backyard. 
because they took their you clothes off. I don't like my shorts, they're wet. I'm gonna take them off. Oh, okay. Dude, run around naked in the backyard. I'm like, oh, sorry, neighbors. I gotta figure out the childcare situation so I can bring my wife with me. My mom, he watches them, which is great because I don't trust anyone with my kids, Call except for Sam. And my mom. Call Gigi, and they will take care of your kids. We paid Gigi $500 this time. Watch some new videos of Tyson training for his comeback. I know. He hasn't missed a lick. It's going to be a killer. Tyson memory. will kill anybody around him. Straight to the heavyweights. It's a tutorial. I do like to cook, but I'm not a, a chef, and I'm not... I stress when I cook a little bit, but I like cooking. It's weird. Stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. Are they ever going to open up anybody that's up in PA, that Hollywood casino again? Does anybody know if that's opening up again? Is it? Where at? Uh, that big casino up there in uh, where the 81s meet. It's a Hollywood casino. I've sent you videos from me gambling there before. I'm going to go. Playing a little blackjack. Is it on my way down? It w you could make it on your way down. Make it back to it if it's open. You can, well, I wouldn't sleep there because then you still got a next long okay. drive. How far is it off the road? Oh, drive back home. You'll be coming by it this way. I'm okay with that. You stop in for a couple hands. Okay. Valet that truck. I'm, I'm not valet. I'll park that thing. Oh, okay. Valet, leave it up front. Maybe I can get a hotel there. You never know. Maybe I'll win. I'll get on the smuts and I'll try to win some money. Or you could drive it back to your mom so you can get back to your I... kids. Well, yeah. Of this is pretty. I'm going to show you guys. Days. Got some good skyline. Look at that mountain up Look there. Look how beautiful the clouds are. I'm sorry. Got all glory ignoring. there to the ride. He right. said, I doubt it. Why did they close it? Close what? The that, casino? Yeah. Well, it's PA. Like, Pennsylvania is just kind of a little stricter. Once you leave Virginia to get into PA, it's a little stricter on the COVID guidelines. Trigger wife will blow all her money gambling. You'll have to go to coast to coast she'll, to make it up. She'll probably mortgage, First a, tr of all, mortgage a truck and I'll have to come back with a taxi. At you were the one losing the money. I want it all I back. I made some back on the roulette table. You did, but basically, I'm just saying, my blackjack. In the beginning sales, of blackjack, I was handing you I over. Know, that's I was true. handing you hundreds. You know? But at the end, I was the one doing it. I think we both did a joint effort, leaving it at that. <laughs> it was a joint effort. Joint effort to not lose any money. It was fun, though. That was so much fun. Thank you, Townsend. Hey, Townsend. Wind Creek. What's Wind Creek? I do not know. Please specify. Google says casinos open till 4 a.m. Well, we're but is to, that during the COVID? We're going to have to call them. Call? Last, last two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I came down. Uh, they were closed. Can I call? What's it called? I'm going to call. Yeah, so I can't Hollywood, comments, I'm gonna Hollywood call. Casino. Hollywood Casino in PA. Big casino. Nice. It's a nice place. It's got good food, too. I had some pizza in there. Man, it was good. Ride and roll. Still Like the only casino uh, up there. It's right off of uh, 78, I want to say, and 81, 78. I don't know. Don't know why to go there. Little trip down the countryside. Can I just like say that this is not helping me? Anybody want to give her an address? It's phone number. Hollywood Casino, P, just type in Hollywood Casino. I did. PA. Nothing comes. Oh, here we go. 777 Hollywood. Whoa, Boulevard, that's, that's, gotta it. that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. That is it. Thanks for the super chat. people slow down so much like this guy's going like 20 miles an hour to the scales now i have to slow down and get away from his bumper come on dude come on dude why are you going so slow well, i got swift coming out over here all right now he's getting feed he's getting pulled into the and i'm getting bypassed like come on dude why are you going so slow he got the the green into the scales, and I got the bypass. Oh man, SSP, a little faster, buddy, little faster. If you maintain what they say, then they 
most most of the time if you're not overweight they just run you through But this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, well, that's just for the dining, so I'm uh, assuming the... Well... Hey. You're open from 8 a.m. to 4 a.m. Can you get hold of actually somebody, like... I probably could, but I just didn't want to be on the I want to confirm that before. Well, you're, but you're going to be I leaving will. tomorrow at... I know, I'll call tomorrow again. Yeah, depending on how the truck is and everything about it, then we'll see what tomorrow holds. We shall see what tomorrow holds. See what tomorrow oh. holds. Thanks for being you. Aw, thanks, Townstead, for that super chat. Thanks, thanks for being you. I love that. Run. <sighs> yeah, he came in on right, and then the other guy's going. All the info's on the website. Too. Twenty miles an hour. Oh, so that there's confirming it is open. Yep. Oh. Uh -huh. All right, we got a cap. Uh, Trucking with Chris says, meet you guys there? Question mark. Boom. Let's do it. Cap that debit card off. Yeah, we, we've been gone from our kids for too long. So. Yeah, I miss my babes. But I think they're really going to enjoy the toy we bring home. They, and we're so excited about it, too. Yeah. So. The toy is useful. Yes. Useful toy. Pulling, pull a boat, hopefully, God willing, in a couple of two, three years. It's 105 in Jersey. Oh, 105? Yep. Man, it's uh, 82 up here, but we're up in the mountains a little bit. Yep. And this drop isn't scheduled till 7 a.m., not tomorrow, but the next day. But I, when I satellite imaged and realized that there was no Aldi even there, he, the broker's like, yeah, it's being built. I'm like, okay, that's what I figured, because we're delivering like shelving for the Aldi. Yeah. And uh, I was like, okay. He's like, there. It's probably uh, first come first serve. That's what he said. He's like, that's what it is. Just. I was like, okay. Well, I'm gonna get there and then secure my trailer there and see if they just want to unload it during the day and I'll come back and get it later after I take her to get the truck. So hopefully this is gonna work out beautifully. We'll see. I don't know what this means. Truck and life. How are the bends? The beds? Bens, B E N S. I don't know what bends mean. B E N S. I don't know. Benjamins. That's what I thought, but I. What do you mean? I'm currently working for a mega carrier, but you guys have me wanting to buy my own truck someday. I live in Georgia, so I see the market is pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah, the mega carrier, man. Oh, the babies, the kids. Keep, uh, oh, the, ba the babies. Um, I would do it. Just save up your money, man. Especially if you're a young guy, don't have a mortgage or a family. Getting out on your own and learning that, learn that truck. Whenever that truck's getting worked on, whenever something goes wrong with it, learn what it was. Learn how to fix it. Carry the tools you'll need to fix it, and then start searching for the place you're going to buy your next truck. Or Something like that. Don't ever get into a lease purchase. Get out and buy your own truck. Keep your credit good, and uh, then you name your own price out here, and your time becomes your own instead of being told by a dispatcher, get here, get there, and pick up this, do that. So, I've never been that route, but I've heard the stories of it. So, a lot of my buddies from CDL school that went straight to big companies. So, my babies are wonderful. The cash is getting so big, and my little one's learning new words every day, and I'm absolutely loving it. Rates. No, 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 so don't go buy a, a challenger, a charger. Don't go buy some car you're never gonna drive to your home. Uh, you'll, all that'll come, just like with this truck we're getting right now. We have we kept our credit pretty good. Well, she kept her credit immaculate, um, but I I've had a bankruptcy, but I'm still my credit's pretty dang good. Credit means everything in the world to, to help you make your money go farther, because you're not paying a bunch of money on interest and paying the man to have what you want to have. Would you ever ride with a cat or a dog? I would love to have a dog. We actually have a little dog that I would ride with right now. His name's Tiki. He's, a, he's a half uh, Yorkie, half he's a Maltese, Maltese Yorkie. He, the reason, Best dog. But we, I got him, and when I got pregnant, we had moved into our new house, and we didn't have a doggy door, and we don't have a fence. 
and I just wasn't comfortable. Well, little baby going and grabbing some dog poop. Yeah. Not a good thing. So. We have puppy pads out. He's really good about puppy pads, but I just, I was not Still, having it. Still, we couldn't so always once be. once we get the doggy door in, and we put up something where he can't get around the front of the house and get it back. Once the uh, one-year-old understands that poop, poop is bad, then uh, yeah. we'll, get, we'll get our first dog. Somebody wants the biggest dog. This is one of the biggest dogs ever. I want a Great Dane so uh, bad. I, I get a Great Dane. I would Dane. die. To I want a Great Dane so bad. Those dogs are horses, it. man. I want it. I put in a whole different doggy door I'll for that thing. I'm going to manifest it. Yeah, you go ahead and manifest that at your mom's house. Um, currently 25, but I'm sure you discussed this a million times. But did you guys meet before or after you started trucking? Before. We lived in Arizona. Uh, when I moved to the south is when I realized that trucking was... It is a lot of where you live, guys. It's not If you live in Utah, Arizona, Colorado, it's not the best to get home to your family. In the southeast, in the Virginia, Pennsylvania area, in the northeast, it's, it, you can get home to your family a lot because there's a lot of loads going. Uh, trucking with Chris is typically 30 to figure out the credit game. But better late than never, I guess. Getting up there, though. Good. Yeah, the credit game. They don't teach you about that stuff in school. And my dad, I love you, Dad, if you're watching this, I already ever do, but um, I didn't get a lot of financial uh, thought from you. And uh, I'm gonna, my kids are going to know exactly about it by the time they're 12. Like exactly how to run your lawnmower business, how to make money, how to put that money away, how to pay for expenses, how to save for later. Like That's and how credit's going to kill you. That brand new car coming out of high school and getting your first job looks awesome, but you're going to be paying for it for 15 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're gonna pay for the interest. Happy wife, happy wife. Just get her, get her, get her the dog. The no, dog is where we stop the line. How much would you recommend to save before buying a truck and going to other operations? Everyone says around twenty-five to thirty thousand because the thing about these trucks, you're gonna buy one, it's gonna have five hundred thousand or less miles, hopefully, and then you're gonna to get to the seven hundred thousand mile range, and you're gonna to have to rebuild that motor. In frame is what they call it. Look up in frame. I have the video on my uh, old videos. Oh, I just did it. Okay, that makes more sense. So 20, 25 minimum, it's gonna cost you 18 to 20 to start it. Have a, you should have more than five saved to cover your expenses in case you need it. But um, yeah, 25 minimum. I never, I never thought of this, and that this actually makes sense. Um, the comment that we were talking about, and then we got cut off, mm -hmm. where they were like, "Have you ever thought about moving home goods? They pay cash." They're saying like a moving van, like oh, uh, moving, moving, uh, like moving personal people. No. Um, they do pay cash. Like, what, what is entitled with that? I mean, are you allowed to do? I don't think you can do that, can you? I think there's only a couple big carriers that do that. Like Reliable, I think is one. And um, so, can you? Would you be able to do that as an owner operator or no? So I gotta hit the, gotta full boost the uh, 450 horsepower at 31 pounds of boost, baby, because somebody's getting on, and the guy behind me, I didn't want to cut him off, because he's trying to go. There you go, 75 miles an hour. Let's get back down. Let's get back down. Full boost, baby. Um, what was our question after I just so, avoided so, an accident with the freight letter? I, that's actually a question I have. I never thought of that. Wow. For example, you say you post something up on Facebook Marketplace. I call, I can move furniture, like move people, and they pay cash. Could you do that with this truck, or would you not be able to do that with the U.S. DOT number all that stuff? Like, this, these kind of trucks, you'd have to have long haul, like government contracts, like moving military people back and forth between bases. Uh, if you talk about local drive? local box truck stuff, yeah, yeah you, it, it wouldn't make it. sense to do that. Would be worth it. Uh, not go around town getting this truck into a a neighborhood, you know. Yeah, I'm just curious. You know. And those trucks have different trailers that open from the side. Mm. It's a, like the, you leave that to the moving truck companies. Those guys have that corner. They, they know. Have, like, special they, trailers they know what they're trailers. doing. Special trailers, special okay. team drivers, cross country there. It plays good money, but it's a. Uh, I wouldn't do that just because I like being home a lot. So I like the van market because there's so many different things I can do, like taking, like we have like brand new shelving for Aldi in the back right now. How's the market out of Tennessee? Uh, out of Knoxville area, it's pretty decent, but Tennessee is going to beat your truck up, guys. Know your when I say know your lanes, know the terrain. Like even this run right here, if I was forty thousand pounds, I would be skeptical of taking this route because I'm going up Fancy Gap, which is a it's, you're going to be bogging down getting up there. So um, know your lanes, know your terrain. Tennessee has a lot of hills, a lot of mountains going up and down from Atlanta. Not so much from Chattanooga to Atlanta. It's pretty not too bad. But from the Knoxville down to Greenville area, South Carolina, North Carolina, there's a lot of uh, high-grade uh, hills that are going to beat up your motor and your brakes. Part of the Jersey is going to go up north, west, get ready to enjoy some of the countryside. 
we're not going into the upstate. Well, where we're picking up the truck is, looks like it's a real pretty place. Uh, we're picking up the truck kind of straight outside of Yonkers, a little bit, maybe 45, 50 miles up. I forget, I know the name of it, but I don't want to disclose like where we're going to be exactly. We're not trying to meet up for tea with everybody. We're trying to see if this is a good deal on a truck. Tea. Want some tea. But uh, yeah, where we're going is just outside of like Manhattan, Yonkers, straight out. Uh, nice area. The guy has a nice, like, big property. So. We'll check it out. That's the second time we've been asked about the new Ford Bronco. What do you this think about the new Ford Bronco? I like the two door way better than the four door, but the four door is nice too. Side doors work for reefer, the LTL frame. Limited truck load, baby. I don't know how Means you didn't use the full trailer. Like yeah. you could put different stuff on it. Movers are seasonal, which is nice if you make enough doing it. I worked for a 30% off of the load with my Tea time. T-shirt. T-shirt time. Captain here. I wish they'd bring that show back. They kind of brought it back with uh, Vinny and Pauly D in Vegas. Oh, did they? I didn't watch yeah. it. It started. I mean, I saw like a, a preview for it. But it's not the same. It was so much more fun when they first started. So we're going to Jersey. Jersey Shore. Baby. Yeah, the, the 81 through Tennessee is not bad, but a lot of those small towns, and there's a lot of low bridge places in, uh, where was I going one time? I was, I was bringing Sam Adams beer down from Cincinnati into, I don't know if it was Knoxville, or it was Knoxville or Chattanooga area. And there I got, before I could get into the right place, my GPS took me to two different places where I wasn't going to make the bridge. And I had to back around and go all the way up to the top and then come down to this uh, Budweiser distributor, beer distributor. Jim Tan Laundry. Jim Tim Laundry. Yeah. Cam's are here. I remember my first year trucking. I was forced to team drive at 34 cents a mile. I'm saying, it, man, it's robbery, dude. And it sucked. But now I get. Robbery. Uh, now at a new company, I make a lot more and I drive a lot less. Good. Good. I mean, just know your worth. Get get out of that. Get your experience and then get, get paid what you want to get paid. Even with the company you're with, if you say, hey, I'm leaving, they'll pay you more. It's all negotiations, guys. Hey, guys, I'm a local driver. I'm trying to get my wife to ride with me. What's the best way to get Benson to go with me? I Let her have the bottom bunk. I basically only go with Justin if... It's a beach. If it's a beach trip, and um, we're just doing, like, an adult one-dayer, two-dayer. Yeah. Or for things like this. Like, did we, we drove this up to get the escalator, didn't we? Yeah, when we got the Escalade, that was another trip I took her with yeah. me. I, I told her I was getting her a minivan, then I, I was I set it up, guys. It's a funny story. Really good. It's uh, we got a video of it somewhere. I don't know. It's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. Yeah. I think it's on your YouTube too. It is. But on um, she's always wanted the Escalade. I don't. I like the Escalade, but there's just so many upgraded parts and moving parts, the running boards, the electronics. Like I've had to fix the screen already. She asked me what my dream car would be if I could pick any. Mobile. What would it be? An i said a white Cadillac Escalade with black interior. Yeah, so then I went on a search to find it. It took me about two or three months to find it. We saved up the down payment on it. Which and, is another uh, reason why I had no idea. Because he asked and then never asked me again. But then it came time where trucking was doing really good 2018. And we had an older minivan that was all paid off. And um, it was just getting old. I was like 170,000 miles on it. I was using it for Uber too. I was like, let's get you something nicer drop down TV for these kids because she was having our, uh, you, were you pregnant with our third kid? Yeah. Anyways, she was going to have the third kid and uh, I thought we were going to get her, an, we love the Toyota Sienna, great minivan. And I, I uh, found the Escalade and then I asked them, because they were uh, like a Volkswagen, they were a, a group of dealerships. And I said, do you guys have any Toyota Sienna? She's like, yeah, we got an awesome one with like the, the sport package. I'm like, yes. All right, if you don't mind, I'm just surprised my wife. Please um, send me some pictures of that and a link to it. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it like we're buying that. And when I get there, can we test drive that? And when we come back from the test drive, can you have the Escalade sitting down front? Because that was awesome. Man, took her on a full, asked her all about it, filmed her with the minivan, and she loved it. This it is how nice she's a, she's a humble. She was like, "This is perfect. I love it. It's gonna be great for the kids." She was all happy about it. And then we pulled up back to the dealership, and I had her stop. I drove back, and I stopped right in front, and, and she was wondering why I kept looking at her, and I had the camera, and the Escalade's right behind her. And then I told her that's yours, and she started crying. So <laughs> it was a cool video. It was really sweet. She loved it. She was very grateful. But yeah, we took it, the truck trip up there to get that too. Up church was up church. Up church was up church. I don't know. Somebody said up church. Up church. Do you have any fuel cards, or do you just pay with a debit card? 
No, we just use QT, and I have to get on with the fleet. There's a fleet side of QT that I called the guy like last year, and it never worked out. He never got back to me. I don't know if he was busy or they were changing people or what. So I just filled up again. I saw the guy that I see a lot of the QT that I could do a lot. He's like, hey man, you get the, why haven't you got that that fleet card yet? I'm like, I don't know. So uh, I'm gonna get that, but we just fill up QT as much as we can because I can make it. I'll, I'll make it up to New Jersey if I do get a load going back. I'll get up and back, and I'll still have over um, over a quarter tank. And then I'll fuel again down there whenever I pick some up, unless I get something down here that's heavy and it, and it eats my fuel more. 47 has construction. Sorry about that. Allison, what are you doing calling right now? Um, can you get your own authority and insurance and run this way off the start? What he did. That's what I did, but uh, your, your brokers are going to be limited till about 30 to 90 days. Oh, Ryan Upchurch is a country hip hop artist out of Tennessee. I will look that uh, up. Upchurch. Thank you. Would you get, you know, but we, we lost this a lot too. We would never do reefers because the reefer's a lot of maintenance and you gotta baby, apparently someone said you gotta, which I like this term, you gotta babysit the reefer, so it's just a lot Reefer's of, a lot more um, headache to worry about, but it pays better, but it gives you limited, not as many uh, lanes as dry van does. Apparently I'm missing on I'm so bad about this. Can't believe it stayed pretty, uh, hasn't gone buffering because we're kind of going through the mountains again. Bum, bum, bum. Taking a little climb, climb, climb. Do you factor? No. That's, uh, that they factor. The you apps do all that. Yeah, you don't need to factor, guys. You don't have to have that set up. These companies are going to hound you for it. They email you all the time, call you all the time. Loves will call you all the time. Can you get factoring through us? You just keep telling them no. You don't need it unless you're like always working off the DAT board and taking just these small time little brokers loads. You can make a living off of these big brokers. Just wait for your worth. And um, but these all these big brokers have built in factoring. You just submit the paperwork, click three percent two day pay, or click uh, seven day uh, two percent or one point five percent, and they'll take that out of it, and then they'll pay the rest. So even if you got a really good deal on a reefer trailer, still a no? No, no reefer. No reefer, no matter what kind of deal, you still have a whole nother diesel engine on the front of a trailer that can, any hose can break, anything can go out, can leak in your free online. High pressure, low side, so yeah, don't, uh, I, I'm not saying don't do it. If you're, a lot of headache. if you're in a good market where a lot of leaf, reefer loads are coming out of and you can get back home, then that's it, go for it. Um, not a lot of reefer where I'm at in South Carolina. But if you live next to like an ice cream factory or something like that, or cheese, I don't know what else, meat, meat processing, yeah. Gas, got a lot Coming of up cheese. out of Florida, there's a lot of reefer. Going into Florida, a lot of reefer. I so. like cheese. Did you know that they say cheese, when you eat it, releases the same endorphins that drugs do? I didn't know that, but cheese, that's that why you eat cheese when you I come home from... I love cheese. When you came home from the bar at 22 years old and you like wanted shredded cheese out of your refrigerator? What has this guy got in his trailer? That's that doesn't look safe. That's like a super, so noisy. super skinny trailer. Yeah, people will talk about that, guys. If you're, if you're thinking about getting into trucking, you'll sleep at a rest stop or somewhere, and it'll be next to a reefer unit. And if it's an old one, and it's just, man, it sounds like an air conditioner unit in your house. It's like next to your head, being super loud. I can sleep through noise like that as long as it's consistently making the same noise and not squealing. But if you're a light sleeper, I think it's going to keep you up. Bring you some cheese. Thank you. Please do. The reefer does pay better, guys. You'll get like some really good loads out of reefer, but it, it um, just has to be where you live, your lanes. And uh, if it's a newer trailer and it's kept right, then you don't want to have a headache. But if you're running an old trailer that you bought, you might have a little more headache than you want. Plus, your insurance a little bit more. But that offsets the bigger uh, paying loads you get. Brian, God bless. Be safe. Thanks, thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in the chat. Keeping us company. Riding roads. We don't do these all the time because truck and wife's not always hitchhiking. Yeah, you know. And we're not wondering what the heck a uh, house hippo is. Ha house, house hippo. I used to pull reefer. I used to hear the unit in my sleep at home. <laughs> <laughs> Got in your head. You're Thermo like, king, oh. baby. Thermo king. Freyhoff. 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 Fruhoff, Fruhoff trailer. That's well, the first trailer I had with TNT rents when I first came out here. I rented a trailer for a year. It was a Fruhoff, brand new one. 
It was a good trailer, but I had to pull a uh, pin for sliding tandems. It always helps to talk about when you got someone along for the ride. It does, except she sleeps like the last four hours. Because it, when it's it, pitch black outside, and I'm just roaming to the end of my clock, and she's sometimes snoring. I'll watch TV. Yeah, sometimes it keeps me up a little bit because the TV, I can hear it. Riding roads, don't nobody go down. Little trip down the coast. Watch comes out with me for a couple weeks on the 5th again. It's fun, and she calls it her break. Yeah, uh, this is kind of, honestly, it's kind of a break for me. I, I'm with my baby 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, which I absolutely, I'm so lucky and so blessed that I don't have to work and that I am able to stay with my babies. But it is nice to have a break every now and then. I mean, it is nice to get away, but it's a catch-22. I miss them so much. Like, we'll leave the house. The second we're out the door, I'm texting my mom. Can I have pictures of my babies? Send me a video. My wife is the same. Five minutes in the car, we're in the movie, and she's out. <laughs> <laughs> Does Truck and Wife watch Vice Grip Garage 2? No, nah, I got to get her on it, dude. I love that, dude. What's that I one guy that we I watch? Tell her about my one-liners or like the dinosaur. I'm getting the dinosaurs out of here. The guy that like goes and restores cars and brings it back to life. I know, but what's that one guy that tells all the stories that lives in Green Oh, uh, Vin Wiki or Rob Pitts? Rob Pitts. Yeah, so Rob Pitts. We've watched him a few times together. I like him. His voice is raspy, but I like it. Satellite cable, but Justin has a hot. We have hot spots on our phones, and we just run Wi-Fi. Yeah, that. get a good cell plan, and then uh, get one of these TCL or something like that. Uh, the built-in Roku TVs, and then you just run your hotspot, and it like they just upgraded my hotspot like twice as much as it used to be, so I, like I'll never run out of it. And then I just stream off of that on my TV, watch a uh, Vice Grip Garage or uh, Sheepy Race, all kinds. Of, I'm a big car guy, guys. If you can't tell, I just love uh, love cars and trucks and. Trucking and my crazy wife. Jimmy says I used to freeze my you know what's off of unloading in July. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, in my company's refrigerated division, so I gotta turn my brightness up. I can't read. Yeah. Like night minus. In my company's refrigerated division, that's all I've ever done. Currently, at a beer delivery for two hours, they are only letting trucks in at a time. Here's the COVID. Here's the COVID. There you go. There you go. Angry Yanks is he's hilarious. Okay, Brian, bye. For real. Later, Brian. <laughs> he's later. like, no, seriously, I gotta go. I gotta go now. I'm out of here. We're gonna get out of here pretty soon, too. We've been on here for a little bit. It's definitely hard with kids. My daughter will be five next month. And every day she's asking if I'm on my way home. But I'm doing this for her family, my motivation. That is. That's the key to it. You know, it's having freedom again with the kids. Our three year old, our four year old is. He understands. He's like, see ya. We'll see you when you get back. Three-year-old like wants to attach himself to us and come with us. So he doesn't understand it, but he, uh, he's got a big heart. He's our wild. He's got a huge heart, just like all of them do. Don't worry, I've been married for five years, and she breaks her arm now. What the? Breaks her arm. Breaks her arm to, to get him to snack him. Come up. Come on. Oh. I don't know. Riding rooms. What are you gonna get for dinner, truck and wife? No. Everything's gonna close. This is better than TV. <laughs> it's just you know, what I liked about when I started this channel, and I wanted to, I had, I wanted to be transparent as heck and to show everything, show my Raycons, good and bad, um, show my engine work, show you guys how to fix what you what you're gonna come across. And then another thing is, I, I loved how Joe Rogan was like that day is, is the day he was talking, like just that morning or whatever, whatever means hours before you put it that I liked it the fact that it, that was what happened that day I love that like it wasn't recorded six months ago or three months ago I just love that part of it so that's why I try to throw a video every day or live feed if, if she's you look like you're like in a campfire with like you're, you're sorry uh, no, it's funny you look like you have a little flashlight uh, in your face. Mom says, what's up Justin Katie you guys are awesome thanks man what up Top Gun in the Top Gun and new movie looks pretty cool I mean the top... dirt track uh, car death shimmy video was hilarious they're all with the vice grip? Yeah. Yeah. That guy's hilarious. He just, I mean, he does some good production. He, I think Jimmy L is doing the one liners from the show. That makes sense. Uh, he 
films a lot and it does Barry some good Downey says good night, guys. Stay safe. Good night. Bells, mommy. I said bells. Bells. Have you visited the nasty truck stop shower? I'm also trying. Uh, it's been real. It's been awesome. Stay tuned for tomorrow. The big reveal of our God blessing send of a SEMA truck. Yes, we're so excited. Just pray it's all it's all tip top, guys. That's what I'll pray for. She can get home safe and that there's no leaks or drive shafts that are out of whack or anything like that. So, God bless everybody, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.